Unlike most of the Ever After High fans, I get really excited about getting the new budgets. I think they're a great toy to play with. There's a new Tea Party line out, and I am ecstatic about it, and it's good to see new ones. I'm not a big fan of molded tops, I have to admit, but I think this is done well, and I will explain once I get her out of the package. I ordered these from Amazon. My boxes came really crushed. It's quite disappointing. I don't know why that happened. If they would have just put them in the box in a different way. The box itself didn't get crushed by the shipping company. Uh, they just squished them in for some reason. I don't know why. Or maybe they were squished before they put them in, but if they would have laid them this way, there would have been no squishing necessary. The box is the same for all three characters. I'll just show you the other two that I have. All came crushed. I also have this pretty cool daring. I didn't realize that I was going to go into quite this detail, but I probably should. I knocked everything down in the process. I won't worry about that right now. The original Ever After High budgets looked like this. I was not very pleased about the molded tops, but I kind of got used to them because it's not so bad and it looks kind of like a corset or hard armor, so it seemed to be all right and acceptable. And I kind of just liked them for what they were and they reminded me more of a She-Ra toy which we had back in the 80s that were action figures for girls that came with material accessories. So it was very reminiscent of that, and I just became accepting of that, and they still looked like China dolls, which is kind of what I think was the most endearing part of Ever After High. Later, they released them with smiling faces. So they changed it up a little bit. I do like the brooding faces that they used to have. Really can tell a difference with Raven who looks quite angry, and her new one where she's happy. This was the first Maddie to be released. You can see that they still made her shorter, which is really cool, but her top looks less like a corset and more like it should be made of material, so I don't like that. But they do come with accessories like necklaces and stuff. This new daring kind of goes with this set. I believe it's kind of to be played with, as you can see on the back of his box. It does feature the other ones. So he is kind of the missing piece to this package. He is a great Ever After High budget to have. These were also released in single packages afterwards. Maddie, of course, was the new addition to that. But that now brings us to these Tea Party ones. And the new addition to them is Darling Charming. And I've always been a fan of her colors. Just uh, the sick pastel blue and pink mixed together is, it's just gross, but awesome at the same time. It really shows in the illustration there. Daughter of King Charming. So yes, this is the box, my crushed Amazon box. Let me just break into this and we'll see how she stacks up. There are some negatives, there are some positives. The release of these ones, they did have their knee joints. So this is the first time that we have not seen knee joints on the dolls themselves. The shoes are removable, they're not molded on like the ultra budget Monster High ones that we have. The cheer ones with Frankie and Draculaura. The heel on these shoes, really rubbery shoes, but they are real shoes. The foot mold looks a little different, but that would be because the whole lag mold is different. No knee joints not really good for sitting down even though she doesn't look that bad sitting down she could sit down under a tree that's fine in a chair she would look strange only sitting on the ground for her the shoes are very nice they're a light light blue almost white and then she's got her skirt which has a great pattern and her blonde hair with the under blue that looks amazing now the hat, this is the tea, what do they call it? The tea party line. And I don't like when they do this, so it's disappointing. They did this with Goliope in the Sh Shriek Wrecked. They made her hat like this. That the doll can't be turned 360 degrees. 
this is the most disappointing thing to me. The top, the molded on top, I don't mind it this time because it looks like porcelain. Now, are these ball joints? No. They do appear to be ball joints, but they are the exact same arms that we saw in this line and in this line. They're thinner, they seem. There's no elbow articulation, but I do like the angles of the arms so that when they're in different positions, it doesn't look awkward and you can get some pretty good poses and gestures from them just with the simplicity of their arms. So if you needed to hold something out not too far, if you need to hold something out further, you do have the options with the different arms. And see the intricate details painted onto the top and how it just looks old fashioned. The skirt fits into this groove here. The way that it was molded, it even looks good when it's off. I think that's a great attention to detail that they were able to put details in there where it did hold the skirt up, but it also made it look great. Look, look at the fine details just of her panties, I guess is what you would call that. And she's got legs for days. Smaller torso with her, but really tall legs. Maybe this is how they're making the shorter dolls fit in. They'll all have the same torso and they will change their legs because whoa, look at those legs. Yeah, I think she's fantastic. I love her. Wanna see her makeup? Less makeup, she's got a beauty mark. Subtle. I like her sick, sick pastel colors. It's disgusting, it's royal, it's awesome. Hair is softer too. Again, with the Monster High Ultra Budgets, the Cheer Girls, the hair wasn't as good of quality. It was kind of hay-like. It was really kind of hard and thick. A lot of you are gonna be worried about the articulation, but if you're just going to play with the doll for a younger fan, there should be no problem. All right, if you wanna see more, check back. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.